ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme Video. James Spann here in the Weather Office on Wednesday the 10th. Of December, we're kind of shifting the focus from the severe weather we had last night to the potential for snowflakes over parts of Alabama tomorrow. A lot of questions. Let's see if we can give you some answers. Let's go first off to some sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. Boy, talk about some big rains last night. There's the uh, Birmingham camera. We're looking from the top of the Daniel building uh, back over downtown, uh, looking south, and uh, low clouds are hanging over the city. Uh, the rain for the moment down to the south. Uh, the Chiha Sky Cam in the clouds up at the uh, restaurant there, looking across the street to the lodge. And across the state line, there's a look at Meridian, Mississippi. That's a Sky Cam at Bonita Lakes Mall. And uh, some light rain falling there, but uh, the heavy rain, the severe weather threat, that's over for now. And the attention turns to what happens late tonight and tomorrow. Thanks to this, Cold Core Upper Trough. Out there over Texas, and that has produced snow over Texas today and last night. Uh, quite frankly, some surprise snowflakes. And we have to wonder, what will that mean for Alabama tomorrow? And that will be the focus of the discussion today. And I know what you're thinking. If you walk outside this afternoon, hey, you know, we're in the 60s here. There's no way it's going to snow. Well, look at the gradient. You've got Memphis sitting in the 30s right now. Yeah, and uh, then you get back uh, below freezing over Texas and Arkansas and uh, in the 20s over Oklahoma. And uh, so cold air not that far away. And we've also got dynamic cooling from this cold core upper system. Now, in advance of the cold air, we've still got severe weather issues. Now, I'm doing this update about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, at this moment, we still have a tornado watch until 2 o'clock for the southeastern corner of Alabama, then up into southwest and central Georgia. And uh, we still could see some uh, active storms down in that region, but again, you can see how the rain has tapered off, and uh, we'll focus on what's going to happen tomorrow. This is the QPF snow projection for tomorrow. The probability of at least four inches of snow. And note, there's a little probability, a slight probability over Mississippi and northwest Alabama. And then, of course, up through the uh, mountains uh, from eastern Tennessee on up into the interior parts of New England. I don't know if Mississippi can get four inches over there. It's possible, but uh, there's no doubt somebody across the deep south will see snowflakes tomorrow. Confidence in that is good. The big question, who, where, when, how much? Let's look at modeling. This is the uh, GFS valid at 12 noon tomorrow. And again, you can see that very deep cold core upper low rotating right over Alabama. And boy, we have seen surprise snows with these kind of things. And the one uh, that certainly comes to my mind is December 1997. Nobody, well, at least nobody in our office called it. Uh, we talked about a cold rain, and, and I, I remember John Olshu calling and waking me up about 4 in the morning on a Sunday and saying uh, there's 8 inches of snow in Jackson and it's snowing heavily in York and Livingston and Demopolis. So these things are tricky. Now, we'll look at the surface chart. This is the uh, GFS at noon tomorrow. The surface low is near Rome, Georgia. And that little circle of zero there, that represents freezing temperatures at 5,000 feet off the ground, typically where it is cold enough to snow. And you can see that that uh, magic little combination of moisture and that uh, freeze level at 5,000 feet is over really the Golden Triangle of Mississippi, Columbus and Starkville, West Point, places like that, and then across the state line, maybe into Lamar and Pickens County, Alabama. Now let's look at the NAM, and by golly, it's very similar. It shows the better max of uh, cold air at 5,000 feet and moisture really over Mississippi uh, and just maybe slithering up into uh, the west central part of Alabama. Now, we can take this a step farther and look at the actual uh, snow plots coming from the models. First off, the uh, uh, GFS. Now, if this is right, uh, come on now. Are you kidding me? Uh, this is suggesting snow of four to six inches over parts of Lamar, Marion, and Lawrence counties of northwest Alabama with uh, good snows all the way from near Jackson, Mississippi, up to Columbus and uh, Huntsville. But look at the NAM. On the other hand, it's suggesting eh, not that much. Uh, the better snows over Mississippi were a winter storm watch is in effect. 
and also some snow showing up around the Tennessee Valley at Huntsville. And uh, one more look uh, using a, a different plot coming off the NAM uh, to expand it a little bit. And again, you can see uh, the confidence is really getting pretty good. We're going to have a pretty good snow here in Mississippi from Jackson over to Columbus and Meridian in that triangle right there. And the question is just how much can extend over into Alabama. And, and after looking at all of this and uh, understand, I just don't think we'll change our forecast that much. We're talking potential for one to three inches over Lamar, Pickens, Sumter counties over West Alabama near the Mississippi border. Elsewhere, just a dusting with a good chance of the rain changing to snow, but little chance of any accumulation elsewhere. But having said that, you all know what we say, cold core, upper level, low, weatherman's woe. These are very problematic, and the skill is not good at handling them. So this could change is the thing that's going late tonight. So we'll mention uh, rain changing to snow, the better chance of accumulating snow near the Mississippi border, specifically really Marion, Lamar, Pickens counties. And we'll adjust that as the thing unfolds. Friday, it's out of here. Uh, the sky's sunny, cool. Uh, looks like the thickness values are lower here, so we probably won't get out of the 40s. Saturday starting off the weekend, cool and dry. Sunday will stay dry. Southerly flow kicks in, moisture starts to increase, and Monday of next week, it's a battleground between a warm ridge over the Gulf and the cold polar vortex that is, uh, the trough is really shifting back off to the west. And down below that, th this run suggesting there could be enough moisture for a few scattered showers over West Alabama Monday and Tuesday kind of looking the same. So we might need to insert at least the chance of a shower Monday and Tuesday of next week. Go out there three more days, December 19th, same deal. Got the battleground, a warm 588 ridge over the Gulf, cold trough to the north, very strong cold front just north of here, and very cold air over the north. But that ridge is kind of like a brick wall, the cold front just having a hard time making it down through here. And toward the end of the forecast, Christmas Day, December 25th, uh, now, this, the westerly is a little farther south on this run, uh, and down below that you can see that looks cool and dry. But again, the trend has been for the colder air to go out west, milder weather for the east over the latter half of December. That's just the trend, and uh, that seems to be uh, uh, where we're going at this point based on everything we've seen. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We will have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, my next video here will be uh, posted by 7 o'clock. And uh, don't forget to watch us on television uh, if you're in Alabama this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.